Hello guys, it's me Harry and today I'm going to talk about a some recent YouTube drama that I found out when I was going through Sander Vlogger's um, channel today. As I said, I don't subscribe to him anymore because of the fact that his videos are explicit, but that's my fault. But today I'm going to show you a topic that pretty much is quite surprising to his subscribers and himself. Um, and that is... But that revolves the hypnotic Brad Kitten, a female user who Sam the Blogger was friends with until now, or a day ago, whatever, whenever he uploaded that video. So the video no, video that he uploaded um, a couple of days ago is, this is what THBK, which is basically the hypnotic Brad Kitten abbreviated, really did. Yes, I'm disowning her because of this. And then he says, this crap is not acceptable. Yes, I understand I did put strong language in the description or in the title, but um, I can't say these words. I actually can't say them at all. So, yeah. So he uploaded this video, which basically proves that he really did this. And basically Sam the Vlogger exposes the hypnotic red kitten for being a pedophile. Oh, sorry about that, I couldn't say it properly. And then in the comments, there's actually a, a lot of comments, um, mostly from Sam the Vlogger's fans and subscribers, and other ex -Anime, um fans. And it goes kind of on and on and on. Because pretty much everyone's shocked. Like, this user says, But wow, I kind of feel kind of grossed out by what I saw. Do you feel grossed out as well? And then some user says, It's obvious. Showed obvious signs. And then Sander Vlogger says, Well, I was very ticked off yesterday when I said that part in the video. And, I, and something like I, what I saw drove me to say it. And then I think that's um, free entertainment. I think that's free entertainment, 5, 10, 12. He says, yep, this is what happens when you betray Sam like this. Not saying you, I'm saying that in the context. And then eventually she shut down her channel. Then Sam the Vlogger um, says, I'm not surprised she shut down her channel for after being called out for this. And as I said, it... There's a lot of comments, so it goes on and on and on. <laughs> As I said, I'm, it's pretty surprising how everyone's shocked at this, so... Well, if I hate her, and especially after that, I'm not forgiving her at all. Pedophile should not be forgiven. Um, there's a few more comments, but um, just watch the video if you want to see them. He'll explain them um, everything in the video. And so yeah, another thing that he did was he updated his Screw This Crap playlist. Or as it's called, F This S. He changed it, but you know, this playlist is, even though um he made it, this playlist is just um silly anyway. So one video he, he put in was someone who I think he called out in another in a um, community post or a playlist, I don't know for sure. It's called um, Rip THBK's channel. And then... Explains all this. It's got a lot of dislikes, but that's mainly from Sam the Vlogger's subscribers. Because you don't want to talk crap behind Sam the Vlogger. He knows very well he will not take an apology as an exception. He's a very serious person. I commented on there just now. Don't know for sure what's really happening, but yeah. There's one of his subscribers again. Hmm. But I, th I actually think, as I said, the reason why Sam the Vlogger fans dislike her is because Francis Cole is defending the hypnotic red kitten or something. 
And then there's someone else who I think Sander Blog is going to expose as well. But to be honest, <laughs> I've got a moral to tell you guys. Be careful with who you friend on the internet, or otherwise you might end up be seeing what happens happened to Sander Blogger. So yeah, see you later guys and bye for now.